Hello everybody, Sonda Delaja here. Welcome to Reconstructing Nigeria and Nigerians. I think we need to start by Reconstructing Nigerians before we could restructure or reconstruct Nigeria. Today I'm talking about the nation is dying, why we wait for God. Most people in Nigeria are waiting that, oh, one day, one day, God will come and deliver us. One day, one day, God will save Nigeria. Well, <laughs> how many parts of the economy has developed while we are waiting for God? But it's the opposite. Instead of them de developing, they are degenerating. So many aspects of our life have degenerated. Why we say we are waiting on God? No, something is wrong here. We should change that philosophy, that mindset. Some of us should have taken certain actions and steps to have moved our country forward. If we have stopped saying we are waiting for God praying, but if we all have started to do something to move the country forward instead of waiting, can you imagine how much progress we have made? Uh, and, you know, we have prayed, we have prayed, we have prayed. And it's like God is not answering those prayers. So it's time for us to know that prayer will not save Nigeria. You remember there was a time that Moses was praying in the Garden of Eden and God said, you know, you know uh, shut up and just keep on moving. It's not time to wait, it's time to act. It's the same thing. I have a book that is written when to pray, when not to pray, and when to stop praying. You know, so it's time to stop praying and move the country forward. Uh, the school of thought that only God can save Nigeria is destructive. It has destroyed the old foundations of Nigeria economy and industry and everything that now we are just the poorest country in the world by population because we are waiting for God to come and do what he has told us to do. God will never do what he has already told us to do. We, once God has revealed his will and his purpose to us, finish. We are supposed to now take responsibility and go and bring those will to pass. God has invested so much in us. God has put into us so much talent, so much gifts, so much abilities. And now is not the time to begin to ask that God that has given us so much talents and gifts uh, and now to come and work for us to bring those things to pass. No, it's now our time to use those talents to, you know, facilitate and bring to pass exactly what we desire for our country. Um, you know, you know. Uh, some of us are saying, uh, we, you know, what is the will of God? No, God has already given us His holy scriptures. He has given us the Bible, and we can use it and bring to pass the will of God. It's, if God has already revealed to us His ways and His will and His principles, we we cannot be waiting on Him again to come and bring those things to pass. So, can you imagine a, a country that's waiting on God to come and? Um, make Nigeria great or to come and save Nigeria when God has 80 million people in that, 80 million of his children in that country. 80 million of his children. He has trusted us with so many of his children that all, if can you imagine if all these those children of God will begin to do something? There is no way God will now come again to come and do something for us when 80 million of us are already there. We, 80 million of his children, 80 million, not 4 million, not 3 million. 80 million and in Nigeria he says we have 89 percent of people who go to church or mosque 89 like 90 percent of people attend one service or the other now if we have that kind of people who are already children of God let them show that they are children of God if you God has so many of his children there why should God now come again and be doing the thing that his children are supposed to do in America, they only have 44% of people go to church. And that, that country is called God's own country because they are taking responsibility. Can you imagine what will begin to happen if 89, 90% of Nigerians will begin to take responsibility? Something is definitely not correct with the theology that we are being taught. God already has given us and has made us who we are. It is now to our credit. It is now our own responsibility uh, to, take to take responsibility for our nation, for where we are, and make ourselves into, into who we want ourselves to be. Uh, do you, you know, but like those Nigerians who take responsibility for what they can do and to do something for themselves, they are making a difference, in, both in Nigeria and outside of Nigeria, but they are too small. The amount of Nigerians who are making a difference are too small. We need to begin to teach all our churches and mosques that they should release the people. They should allow the people to go and accomplish the best potential that God has already put in them. It's time we all st stand up to the challenge that is b before our country. It's time for us to go and take responsibility to make our country great and make 
make Nigeria the, the hub of progress and development that we are supposed to be. We have the potential to be, to be like that. And it's time for us to stop waiting on God and begin to fix our roads. Stop waiting on God and begin to fight against corruption. Stop waiting on God and begin to build schools and create jobs and so on. We must now take our national destiny into our own hands. God has already done his own part. He has given us so many people in Nigeria. We have over 200 million people. 90% of them are saying they are God's children. So let them begin to prove that they are God's children by bringing the will of God to pass and bringing about the growth and development in our country. It is our time and it's our responsibility to build a new country. Let's stop waiting on God while our country is dying and, and, waiting, you know, uh, and wasting away. We can stop the process of death and waste by just together standing up and doing something about our nation. For the love of God, church and nation, peace.